do or die politics to save Nigeria's democracy. Jonathan warns Tenubo. End do or die politics to save Nigeria's democracy. Nigerians, Jonathan warned Tenubo. The former president, good luck, Jonathan, has urged President Bola Tenubo to tackle the harmful practice of do or die politics, which threatens to undermine Nigerians' democratic progress. Speaking at a symposium making 25 years of unbroken democracy, Jonathan said, There is a need for a more inclusive and co coercive democratic system in Nigeria. Jonathan stressed that Nigerians' democracy must not be built on region or religion, but on the principles of inclusivity and social cohesion. He encouraged President Bola Tinubu to build on the gains of the past 25 years, improving infrastructure, education, and opportunities for all. Together, let us build a Nigeria where every citizen has a voice, where opportunities abound, where the promise of a better tomorrow is not just a dream. We must not hand over to our children a democracy built on politics of religion and region. The National Assembly can also look at models that will suit us. We must address the factors that gave rise to these do or die politics. It is inimical to cons consolidating democracy, he said. He further argued that the political class must lead by example, ensuring that the dividends of democracy benefit all Nigerians, regardless of their economic status or social class. Jonathan cautioned against the winner-takes-all approach. Jonathan cautioned the winner-takes-all approach. He instead called for a model where all parties have a stake, even if they don't win. He added, so for the Honorable Vice President, we are hoping that you build more infrastructure for us, improve the quality of education, improve the quality of the facilities, etc. One key thing also is that for the next 25 years, you will need to build a democracy that will reduce friction. The number of litigations that follow very round of election in Nigeria is very destructive if we must have a solid and enduring democracy. These practice needs to be deleted and no you and President Bola Tinubu, who was a key actor in the June 12 crisis, we have the capacity to navigate through that process. The symposium was attended by the Vice President Gassim Shetima and other dignitaries. It marked a quarter century of democratic rule in Nigeria. But how can somebody that enter or grab power through do or die and do or die politics and do or die politics how possible? Tinubu has successfully killed whatever that was remaining in Nigeria democracy. President Jonathan, please tell him, President Bola, Tunubu just wants to kill on Nigerians with his left and right politics. The president is trying to survive the nation. Let us pray as much as possible to recover our slaves from the difficulties. And someone said, shut up. That is how people like you shouted Buhari, Buhari, the Messiah. These are, you know, few reactions that I can take for now. So Nigerians, the former President Gulog Jonathan has urged President Bola Metinubu to tackle the harmful practice of do or die politics that is killing Nigeria presently. And he said these politics which threatens the who threatens to undermine Nigeria's democratic process. He said the only way Nigeria can move forward is to tackle it. 
eliminate it now before it destroys Nigeria completely. Jonathan stressed that Nigerian democracy must be built, must not be built on region and religion, but on the principles of inclusivity and social cohesion. He encouraged President Tinubu to build on the gains of the past 25 years of improving infrastructure, education, and opportunities for all. He said, together, let us build in Nigeria where every citizen has a voice, where opportunities are bound, where the promise of a better tomorrow is not just a dream. We must not hand over to our children a democracy built on politics of region and religion. And this is what is currently happening in Nigeria right now. Nigeria has been divided. You understand? Nigerian politicians have used this, you know, religion and the region to destroy everything that was left after Muhammad Buhari left. You understand? Is is really, really bad that this is where we are today. Nothing to tell home about. Well, they say here when they hear what is they inside. Would they ever hear what? I beg. Make a drop out for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.